This is Morning in the Mountains on the Mountain Fun Life channel. Hi, Frank Murphy here. Delighted to be speaking with teacher, author, and motivational speaker, Gary Harmon. Hi, Gary, how are you? Fine, how are you, Frank? Good, delighted that you're here. And Thank I have you. to remember to keep saying Gary Harmon because your new book, which I have right in front of me called A Clown in the Cobwebs, is written under a pseudonym. That's and I'm correct. looking at the back of the book <laughs> where it's got your pseudonym on it, Walt, right. Walt Nelson. Walt but Nelson. That's not, you are You are Walt Nelson. Gary I Harman. am Walt Nelson. Where I am that, Gary Harmon. Where did that fake name come from? Well, my first ancestor on American soil was named Walter Sullivan. Oh. Right. And I gave that name to my grandfather in the book. Boom. All names in the book are, are, are not real. And I named him that. And when I was, uh, my mother was having me the doctors discovered I, my disability at that point. Right. So after I was born, he told my mother I would live for a week. Oh. And I was never good at timing. I'm still here. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I cost my mother a lot more money than a week. But uh, they told her not to name me after my dad, which she intended to, right. because it would uh, be a name on the tombstone. Oh, uh, yeah. So I got the uh, mercy of not being called James Oliver for the rest of my life. Oh, okay. Which is my So, and in the, in the memoir, which is a is based on your same life story. I mean, the character That's right. in the book right. um, has a, a parents who, the dad has to go off to the war, they're not married, right. You're, the mom uh, is pregnant and alone, and this is back in the, what, what's Late the war? 50s. Late 50s. It was so Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. So she's then uh, <clears throat> pregnant, alone, you're born with, uh, a different set of circumstances right. because the the amniotic sac right. wrapped around your That's arms right. and legs and, and prevented them from growing. That's right. So here, so this same as the character in the book, same thing. That's right. And uh, then you're faced with those challenges in life where the right. dad is ashamed, comes back. Right. And in the book, he's ashamed of. Your okay. character. That's correct. So that's all I, true. I could not be. Yeah, everything in this book is is true. Wow. I didn't make up any of this. I'm not that good at making it up. <laughs> but um, I I felt I needed to tell the story because yeah. there are a lot of children born with disabilities and parents don't know what to do with them. Right. And I wanted to reassure them with this book. Yeah. That I we can turn out okay. Yeah, you look fine. I I'm mean, fine. I'm I'm living well. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You've had a career as I a have. high school teacher. Right. What yeah. subjects? I taught all kinds. I taught French, English. I taught creative writing. Yeah. And now this is my project. Yes, yeah. kids, I did the homework. <laughs> and uh, several topics. And but US this is history. not your first book. You have no, that's correct. A, an entertaining children's book for um, children of parents who are maybe lis missing that's a limb. Right. This, especially in the case of, uh, you know, like Desert Storm and the more recent wars, you have because of advances in medical technology, more people survive, survive the war, that's right. but they're missing a limb. So, <coughs> that's it, correct. so all of a sudden, prosthetics for right. amputees mm -hmm. is, a, is a big thing right It's now. a big business, that's correct. Yeah, well, I wrote the book, it's called My Daddy Takes His Legs Off. Yeah. And I have a little girl that uh, uh, went to a daycare every day after school, and her daycare friends were scared of me. Oh. And so, I well, you know, okay. it's his face. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> My wife put some bag over me and said, thank God. This one. But uh, when I would go in, they, I, they would get a little scared. Yeah. And so one day she asked me or told me that her friends didn't want me to pick her up anymore. Oh. And I said, what do you want me to? Yeah. And she said, well, yeah. And not because I'm such a great dad, but because I'd stop at a store and get a snack. Oh. <laughs> so That's smart thinking. I was the snack dad, so yeah. she wanted me to pick her up. So we worked through it, and the book was the story of how we worked through getting yeah. her friends used to me. Lovely. Now, in addition to writing the children's book and now the memoir based on your life, mm -hmm. um, you're a motivational speaker. You've got a YouTube channel. Right. And I noticed on the YouTube channel, not only are you <laughs> talking to other folks who have interesting stories and featuring them, putting the spotlight on right. your other friends, but in one of the episodes, you go to the prosthetic company that built your legs. That's correct. That's Peru Prosthetics, that's yeah. right. 
they have opened up an office in Laverne, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and so they were a little closer to home. Originally, their office is in Huntsville, Alabama, yeah. and there's no reason I want to go to Alabama, of course. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alabama, you're a wonderful state. But it was a long way away, and Laverne was a little closer. Yeah. So uh, I, I've got my current lads built there, and they did a great job. That's fantastic. What did you do with the old ones? I still have them. Because, you know, it's pretty funny, too. I had a, a listener at a radio station in California. He gave us one of his old legs because he's right. got a new one. Mm -hmm. And we used to leave it in the green room in opportune right. places, like sticking right. out from under right. the couch. And it would get a lot of laughs. Yeah, yeah. Especially around uh, Halloween. Well, when I was a kid, uh, I'd sit on one seat in the back of the bus, and my friend would sit on the other. We would remove the leg, <laughs> then tuck it under the pants leg. And when some new kid would get on the bus, he would say, I'm not going to take it anymore and grab my foot and turn it. <laughs> and I would scream bloody murder. And my bus driver would just say, he does this all the time, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, right? Oh, that, you have fun. you got to have some fun with yeah. this, right? <laughs> and my, my younger son, when he was a little kid, whenever my wife would help me change the shoes yeah. on the prosthetics, she would hold it over for my son to tickle the bottom of my foot. <laughs> and wherever I am in the house, oh. my wife would signal me and I'd start laughing. So the foot's over here, yeah. you're over there. I might be in another room. And <laughs> she'd oh, Gary, as I do by, by calling the way she called my name. That that's what she wanted. And I'd start laughing. Oh, I love it. Well, the book right here is A Clown in the Cobwebs. You can find out more at harmonspeaks.com. That's correct. That's H-A-R-M-O-N, harmonspeaks.com, right. where right. we can find you and and book you as a motivational speaker. Yes. Uh, there's a link to the author house where you can yes. buy the books. That's right. And find out where you're going to be. Right. Gary, what a joy. What a pleasure. Well, I appreciate that. It's something that once my child had that incident in, in uh, daycare, I decided somebody needs to get out and talk about life yeah. with a disability and let people know it's not a burden. Right. It's just different. You know? yeah. And uh, once well, you get used to it, it's okay. I mean, on the beginning of all your YouTube videos, you've got in front of a whiteboard and with your two arms, you right. take a, a marker and you write Harmon Speaks and draw a character That's yourself. right. That's so right. right there, it's like, oh, well, that's, that, of course he could work as a teacher. Right, he can right. work a whiteboard just as right. easy as anybody else. And I discovered in my 70,000 years as a teacher that if you ever start, it was close. Yeah. If you ever start losing attention of a class, start drawing the bad kid. <laughs> that's genius. It worked. <laughs> All right. Look, he's and you were a beard in high school? I was for a while. Right. I also taught at Austin East. I have to mention them all now. Halls High School and the Juvenile Detention Center. Oh, wow. Which I fought, taught the last seven years. Amazing. It was a great right. job. Well, Gary Harmon, harmonspeaks.com is the website. Thank you so much for being My here. My pleasure. I appreciate you. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank right. you. God bless you. You're watching Morning in the Mountains on the Mountain Fun Life channel. I'm Frank Murphy. We'll be right back with more after this. Thank you.